Hi friends, this is Kamal Shah from Swaycharts. Swaycharts is into tech training on technical analysis and this video is for how to use advanced get software which we give to all our students to analyze stocks on end of day basis. Now to get along with this, first let us understand there are two important things in technical analysis one is price and the other is volume so how to get the price onto the chart which can be in pattern so that we can analyze it so on the chart if you see right now there is a close line chart of price which is just the closing prices of each day you are just joining that and you get this particular chart but this is not significantly used to derive price patterns the most significant price pattern that can be seen is through candlesticks so let's see how to get candlesticks onto the charts so now if you see here there is a property window and if you just left click on this a pop-up will open which is a properties box in the properties box in the bar attributes if you see bar types you just have to click the drop down with the left click and you will get candlesticks as the option select that and say apply and say ok and you will now see candlesticks onto the chart this is one way of getting candlesticks onto the chart the other way is when you are on the screen just say a right click and a menu box will open in front of you in this again if you select the properties the same properties pop up will it be in front of you and in the same way you can select under the bar attributes in the bar tribe candlesticks say apply and ok so you will can set candlesticks in this way now in the initial stage we would like to analyze each candle one by one for that we will need to have gaps between this each candle so that we can identify them if you see at the top over here you will see expand and shrink as the option so if you click on expand with a left click it will give you gaps between the each candle and it will help you to signify each candle separately and same way once you are done with it you can shrink them as well so that you can fit more candles in the same screen also at times you might need to increase the length of the candle to understand whether which type of candle it is with respect to the adjacent candle in that case you can use the lengthen option which is just adjacent to the expand and shrink and you can increase the length of the candle at the same time you can shrink them as well so this particular features are used to have more holistic view of the price pattern hope this video was helpful to you all thank you